you're alive. You've already you've made up, it. You set up camp. I want to see your reaction. On the beach? Yeah. Well, the beach and the sunset looks like it's going to be alright. Forgive the blurriness, but there were bugs hurt in the making of this adventure. There's a clue. Oh, Sandy. Just like St Kilda all over again. What's that? Oh, wow. After you. No, you're right. They're trying to get their reflections. So this is the beach at Tidal River in Wilson's Prom. <laughs> Apart from the sand that you've just got in your eyes, how are you doing? Doing great. Hungry? Yeah. <laughs> hey Icelando, Tubes here, showing you the inside of the tent. Um, I know you wanted to see a bit of a gear re review that I've got on the XT. Forgive the face, it's very early, it's a cold night. Um, but I normally dump at the top of the tent where my feet go all my gear because I don't need that stuff. And then come in like a helmet for a stable table for the laptop. Sometimes I use the tank bag but I need to get in and out of that. <clears throat> and then some other electrical gear over there. So I can set everything up to charge at night, <clears throat> which has been done successfully. And then I've got my gear bag because everything from there will go to there and out the door. And I'm about to get out the door and make a coffee for Ecstasy and myself. You like the you like that idea? Yeah. All right, man. Cool. I'll get to it. What else did you need? That ch cable. Anyway, you don't need to hear that. We'll get back to you later. Bye. So there's my tent, and there's the tent that Ecstasy got with his Outback kit, was it? Outback yeah. ready? Yeah. Uh, there's his lovely Beamer with no brakes. <coughs> his Aurora just chilling. Um, so obviously, that's water. That's fuel over here because there's only 15 litres in that and the <coughs> reserve light comes on and guaranteed around 200 k's. Got this for emergencies and tracking. Weather station and time, which is currently wrong. It's 8.45, not 7.45. Ram mount, obviously. Um, oh yeah, and dishcloth. Stored that up on the dash last night so the <laughs> animals couldn't get it. <clears throat> but there you go, that's the inside of the tent. And now I'll show you the back. Which is pretty straightforward. Except that I'm probably gonna need both hands, maybe, to get in to the giant loop. Maybe not. So this is where all the food cooking and sleeping gear goes. So there's my jet boil, which I'm gonna need for the coffee I was talking about before. <clears throat> a sweet Joby brew. And I've got toolkit down over there and spare tubes in there. And then I've got another toolkit down the side over yonder and gas bottle. A little food bag full of coffee uh, and some dehydrated food stuff and these are actually pretty tasty if you want to shake things up oh, and a uh, roll of toilet paper spare gas bottle laundry detergent that's it pretty simple oh <clears throat> and snare wire if I ever want to catch a rabbit uh, but the difference between that and that is huge because that's the four season tent. And this is a summer tent. It's just mesh. We had to 
<laughs> what time was oh good day mate there's a little rosella for you what time was it that the fly blew off yours uh, i don't know 12 o'clock yeah so we had to get out and do emergency repairs with my spare pegs for that <laughs> anyway i think does that sum it up enough i don't know it's too early i need coffee man but it's a hell of a view couple of eastern rosellas coming in to say hello in the morning and do the camp patrol for food and crumbs <laughs> watch your step there's poo up there there's lazy wombats Ah, that's a superb wren, or oh, I always get them confused. There's like, there's two that look like that, superb and a splendid, and they both got that electric blue. It's all about where you are in the country, which one it is. And there it is. There she is with all the stuff on the back, Icelander left no trace except for boot marks got all my clothes and electrical stuff in there and my thongs or flip-flops whatever you're comfortable calling them ecstasy's ready to go tent done Just gotta dump some rubbish and go and find some brake pads for the beamer what do you reckon good idea yep great yeah. idea sounds great and look the weather's come good. Woohoo!